What's good with y'all, man? Greetings to y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in to the YNCR podcast. We had to make a whole nother angle because, shoot, y'all, you feel me? I know some of y'all probably like, dang, why he only got this one angle here? But, hey, we, we trying <laughs> to make the angles suitable so we can get the angles in there right and make the things what it is. But greetings to y'all. Thank y'all for tapping in to the YMBR podcast. Ah, hopefully, hopefully y'all been good and well and all right with y'all lives and things is going well with y'all as an individual. We have a topic today that is very central to just some topics I've heard from some people on some different podcast episodes. And let's be real, it's possibly going to be a topic <laughs> that is very sporadic to what we would call the, you know, the adult industry. Um, and we are going to talk about this from a place of, again, you know, like clarity and understanding and kind of speaking, you know, our minds on what we really see from this type of stuff. So it won't be this bashing concept. Because that's one thing motherfuckers will try to twist your words to make you think is that you bashing people. But no, it won't be from that concept. It will be literally from a concept of just diving into it and just trying to get a better understanding of the situation. So yeah, y'all, to those of you who are going to tune in and tap in with that whole topic, um, uh, kudos to y'all. Because, hey, it's going to be a real one. You know what I'm saying? We're going to say some real stuff, keeping it real about the situation, and hopefully we can act like adults when it's all said and done from the whole thing. So, yeah, y'all. But, uh, shoot, man, um, what I want to at least get into um, and tell y'all is, shoot, you know, my day went all right a little bit. I woke up today. Um, yeah, just was going to try to do some things and was going to try to do this, and I just had some other different things going on. Um, today was a pretty gloomy day. Pretty gloomy. It was rainy, gloomy, all types of stuff. So I didn't even go outside. I didn't do too much outside. I just was chilling here. I was about to make some art, but then I just was like, uh, my brain just was not in a good spot. And so I just was like, well, hmm, I just didn't know what to really do today. And I think that when I dived into it more, it's almost like the topic that I that I just told y'all about. It's almost like that topic rained in my head, you know, as I woke up just about a few hours ago or a few minutes ago. And yeah, it just it just gave me something to really, you know, tell some people about. Because I mean at the end of the day, huh, that's a topic that some people talk about and they don't know how to talk about it. They talk about it from a weird ass angle and hopefully you know, you know, and me waking up and, and kind of feeling some type of way about different things and kind of just talking to people about different things, we can um, dive into this again from a adult aspect about it. Um, so yeah, y'all, hopefully y'all are ready for us to tap into it. But that's all I got to say as far as those things that are going on. Right now, it's a, hey, this topic is pretty central to some things that need to be said for sure. So what we are talking about right now, y'all, as far as this topic goes, is called um, the pornography escape. You feel me? From the title, it can sound like I am literally (laughs) trying to be biased here. But this isn't a biasy. This is a a understanding moment for some of y'all. Hopefully it's a it's a moment that can get y'all thinking about some things or just giving different constructs to some things. Because, brothers and sisters, we have, when it, when it comes to the whole world of this, there is so much information on it that it's ridiculous on how you won't run into somebody who doesn't all the way agree or all the way value these aspects because it sweeps the nation. It sweeps the whole free nation with just that whole concept of what it is in general. So y'all like 
hopefully as I dive into this, it can help y'all get a get a factor into the situation. So for me, y'all, I just want y'all to know and understand that a lot of these topics that are coming up that I feel people are talking about with this, you know, OnlyFans shit and possibly, you know, women getting into pornography, et cetera. Um, I feel like when we are referring to a lot of the adult industry, there's a lot of people who will make it seem like every man is supposed to be subject to always being involved with that type of stuff because it's a way to support women. And if we being honest and transparent, I mean, I know there's women who would like to be supported in different ways than just one particular way that is only used from a sexual connotation. So I do understand where the support might be coming from. But, you know, it was, it was this, this whole intended thing kind of came up from a, a DM that I got. Somebody told me that, <laughs> you know, it was somebody that I was, that I remember from IG. And I guess they told me in general that, you know, uh, when you think of just, you know, as far as it goes, it had to, it had to do with some stuff that is referring to as far as it goes, like content in general, you know, and she, you know, the person who it was told me that, you know, this, this, this content, if you're not a buyer of the content, then you shouldn't be like talking to her type shit, you know, and this, this, this gets said by a lot of women in that field, you feel me, that gets said by women who feel that way, that gets told by women who feel that way, etc. And my first venture to what I'm, what, what I always feel about the construct of it is this, y'all, what a lot of people pay for with that type of content is literally them paying for illusions. Like, and I don't think I'm saying this from a place of negativity, but I think I am trying to say that when we really think of content in general, a lot of that is playing with the mind of a man to try to make a man believe he is having a moment with somebody that he's not having. You feel me? And when we think about all that as to why some men are not always supporting that type of shit, what we see is that that man is is realizing and understanding like hey i'm a dude don't get me wrong like i'm a guy and i like certain things like that yeah but it's like if i only think about that and i only come at it from that angle what more do i have to offer to myself and it's not because like what people think you know there's a lot of people who will say oh well that's be that doesn't really make a lot of sense to come at somebody for it because ultimately there's you know, guys sending unsolicited D pics to women. You feel me? Like <laughs> there's guys out here who do that shit and, and there's no construction on that either. But it's like at the end of the day, I think that main reason why some men won't just go down that rabbit hole or want to go down that rabbit hole with women in that reality is because a lot of times women have to almost understand that that's not the only way that they can be supported. You feel me? Because there's a thin line with that type of shit anyway, when you really think about it. It's a thin line that really tries to make it seem like women are only supposed to be supported that way. And that whole amplification of that idea really just kind of feels kind of tiring after a while when you really have to be somebody who feels the need to think about it from the aspect that you see it from what you learn from it is, man, like, I'm not somebody who only wants to think of you that way. You feel me? Like, don't get me wrong. You might want me to, but I don't think that that's the only thing that you offer to the world. And, you know, don't get me wrong. This is, y'all, this is even me trying to emulate or even tell y'all that it's not wrong for humanity to have a side of themselves that comes from uh, sexual pleasures. The problem that can come up a lot, though, is when you think every man you run into should be the person to be involved with that, when they didn't add any of the reason why you became or did the stuff that you did when you became somebody like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's men out here who, for one, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just speaking for myself. For me, 
I'm a man who I made my own path. When it came to these men who was treating women like shit and, you know, abusing women, et cetera, my father taught me the opposite of that. You feel me? Which was why I walked out into the world as a man who was like, hey, my slate is real. I understand where I'm coming from. But when I walked in, out into the world like that, I wasn't met with that same reality. I was met with motherfuckers who thought that was weird because I wasn't a motherfucker who was an abuser. <clears throat> and when I try to tell people, you know, the concept of why I'm not always into that type of shit is because a lot of that is came from me being somebody who now has, I've tapped into a lot of my real self now as I've gotten to, you know, be a little older in this reality. It's like God has given myself a true demeanor as to who I really am as an individual, you know, to where now I don't necessarily act as somebody who values women only from that connotation. So that's why I'm not somebody always out here paying for content. You know, and don't get me wrong, that's still a lonely road for a motherfucker like that. Because ask yourself the question, if I went against the societal norms at a young age, do you really believe I would be with somebody at this moment if I went against the societal norms? Not necessarily. Because when you are usually going against the societal norms, you got motherfuckers who don't really fuck with you like that. You got people who, for one, they over-exaggerate you and think you something that you're not. And then on top of that, you got motherfuckers who are on social media sometimes who perfect, who think that you're a perfectionist or analyze you just in wrong connotations when you really ain't even like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers, everywhere you go and what you do when you represent and say that you didn't do the shit that some people do, there's always a motherfucker there trying to make it seem like you was the most weirdest motherfucker alive because you didn't choose to do the same shit as everyone else. And so when I really, you know, talk about this whole thing or just put it out here for people to really understand, man, is, you know, I can't relate to motherfuckers who done, who done been out here you know, only wanting to smash women for certain particular reasons. I can't relate to motherfuckers who abuse women only because they trying to make her afraid so that they'll think that she doesn't have anywhere to go and she's going to constantly be with this motherfucker simply because she's fearing for her life. So she got to do nasty shit to the motherfucker. Like, I don't know what any of that shit feels like to do to a woman because that's just not who the fuck I am. You feel me? I've never been that type of motherfucker. I think if you a cowardice ass motherfucker, like that's some shit that you would do to somebody in that reality. But again, like I feel like when we, you know, just just to diverse and, and make the topic what it is, like that's the reason why, you know, in that reality, you know, I, I told her that, hey, I just wasn't really, you know, into all that. You know, I told her what it was about the whole situation, you know, and just kept it real with her. But, I mean, I, I tell this stuff, and I think I say this stuff to, to point to the reality, y'all, that, you know, a lot of these women have reached points where they believe that if you don't support them that way, then you don't really like them. You feel me? I've learned this from some, from some situations. There are some women out here who believe if you don't support them as a OnlyFans woman or you don't support them as a fucking... Um, corn star like they'll take that and make it seem like oh you don't like them at all when in retrospect no that's not what it is it's not that we don't like you at all it's that maybe you are thinking that that is the only angle a man is supposed to see you from and at the end of the day some men don't always see women from those angles you feel me don't get me wrong we see women from an angle that is sometimes like that right but let's be real from the way that they have created this shit and how this shit is gone it's made some of these men buck crazy to where they have no real choice to be able to say to themselves hey i look at women from only that aspect because because you gotta look at how much you punch push that type of content out you gotta look at how many times you you get involved with that type of content or how many times you even do it with a motherfucker who you just doing it with because you want to make the content more interesting. 
You know, like you got to think to yourself and, and be realistic with the reality. Maybe some men don't like to see that shit all the time is because some people are more hands on to the reality of that. And they don't really think that when it comes to all this shit that some of these people are hyping up, they don't always think that's the only angle you see somebody from. Because you can run out of grounds with that type of angle. You feel me? You can run out of ground. People don't even realize how much pornography, the ground you run out of with that shit. Because you, you literally already know what's going to happen. You know the, the steps. There's motherfuckers out here who done done fucking parodies of this shit. And these parodies are from literally fucking movies we watch like Scooby-Doo or fucking uh, Chucky and all this other shit motherfuckers are making parodies out of this shit and some people don't even realize like if you know the aspect of what's going down like damn it this is the same damn aspect that's gonna be that's gonna be wired through the whole damn thing it's gonna be the only reason you watch it you feel me and like brothers and sisters i just feel like what people got to understand though too about all this shit you know whether we as long as we keeping it real on the podcast about it like I just think people have to really take into context that if we are only looking at people from these angles, you know, that that does some shit to some people. You feel me? That makes a lot of people's love and affection and expression of love and affection that turns a lot of that shit into some shit that is like 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 a modification. It turns it into a robotic modification that is mentally in their head that you know has nothing to do with them even really expressing this shit with anybody you know because that's how some of these men feel i ain't even gonna lie to you that's possibly how some of these men feel when they are the viewers of the shit that these women create with this type of content this shit will sit in a brother's head for probably twelve thousand hours and don't get me wrong <laughs> It, it'll sit in his head and he won't know what the fuck to do with it because if we being honest and transparent, he's not even able to see it for what it really is anymore. You know, he's not, he not able to express what, what he wanted to express from it. Nothing. Like he just sitting there with that type of energy in his head from something that somebody modified and put into his head to make him believe he's doing some shit he's not doing to somebody. And... Brothers and sisters, I just feel like when you really think about that from a real place, that's harmful to people. Because if we being honest, people are not designed to be motherfuckers who pretend to do some shit to people. It's not a, the people are not designed to do that. They're not designed to pretend to do some shit to somebody. If, if their brain is, if their dopamine is communicating that they need to be done they want to do something this way the dopamine is usually like hey we got to do that you feel me because it's a it's like a reciprocation type of vibe with dopamine that's why when you think of i even get into give you a perfect example even with toxic toxicity people wonder why there's so many women who have problems with toxic men and shit like that and why they so eagerly excessively angry with all their nature and everything the reason they're like that is because let's be real it's not what people think it's because the the dopamine that this woman is giving to this man that isn't reciprocating that dopamine that is affecting her in the crossfire of her having to be involved with this motherfucker so you got to ask yourself the question maybe the reason she tore your fucking um window the fuck up with a brick and shit wasn't because of what the fuck you thought it was it was because your energy did not reciprocate her energy your toxicity made her not be able to feel a reciprocation so she had to do some shit in order for some shit to happen the way that it happened brothers and sisters a lot of this shit that that we that we are getting involved with that's the same thing with with, with pornography and, and only fan content like that's a reciprocation that's not even really there you feel me the brother is not feeling this is something that comes from him this is some shit he gotta act like is being done to him you know what i mean and that and that in itself should tell women in general 
why would I want to fool a man's mind like that to that extent when not every man is, is like that? Not every man is trying to destroy my life. Not every man has or could destroy my life. My problem was I sat there and said every man was destroying my life and really it was just the motherfuckers I chose to be with that was destroying my life. And when I do that to the whole man culture, what I really am saying is that I am misdividing myself from where these men could be. I am singling out myself to only be in, to only think that those are the only ones that I can that I can be with and that is the reason I am analyzing men from this wrong context. You feel me like that's bro that's really where we at with this shit when we really want to boil this shit down to the T and how it became. There's motherfuckers out here talking about women from certain angles. There's men out here talking about uh, women from certain angles. There's women out here talking about men from certain angles. But brothers and sisters, we have to really see a lot of this shit, whether we know it or not, whether it's the content shit that you create or whether it's the this type of shit that you create, the pornography. Brothers and sisters, all that shit does to individuals is it, it fucks up their mind, you know? And some of us, whether we know it or not, some of us are not trying to live like that for the rest of our lives. Some of us ain't trying to be like that for the rest of our lives. It might seem like that's the only way we supposed to be because some, I give you, hey, I give you kudos to the situation. Some motherfuckers who have been in some shit that are sexual addicts, I give it to you. Those motherfuckers, there is a reason why some of those women are doing that for those motherfuckers in that context because ultimately it's a distraction so that those motherfuckers don't go and do some shit to somebody else. So I get where you're coming from with the creep assholes as to why you don't want them motherfuckers, you know, as to why you don't just do this type of shit with somebody from a real aspect. I get that concept. However, though, I don't think that when you really put that shit in the retrospect, that speaks for every man, though. Because ultimately, there's some men out here who are not like these weird-ass motherfuckers who just want to do some shit to women and, and let that be that. Like, that's not every fucking guy. You know, and don't get me wrong. I mean, whether you're a man or whether you're a woman, we both as a whole have you know, um, sexual connotations, you know, in general, because, you know, we technically, let's be honest, God knew we were some freaks, <laughs> to be honest, he knew that, but at the end of the day, he didn't want us to abuse the concept of it, which I think that's the reason why people be saying that shit about how, you know, content and, you know, um, pornography, you know, abuses that construct. Because a lot of people, I'm going to even say this, a lot of people believe that that's the only way you're supposed to be doing some shit with somebody. Literally, they be thinking like that's the only way you do some shit with somebody is that way. Failing to understand, motherfucker, if you don't offer anything different into the situation that isn't from that shit, like, bro, you are literally mirroring the shit that, that, that isn't even you. It's not you doing any of this shit now after that. Like, that's somebody who you are mirroring. You're mirroring a motherfucker who done done some shit that you trying to do. Like, that's why I don't know why women will think, oh, that's, I mean, don't get me wrong, that's why I don't feel like, I don't know how people think this porn addiction shit is always the best solution because motherfucker, it don't always help to mirror what you see from them motherfuckers because ultimately they doing this shit from a cold place. They're not doing it because they like women, you know? There's a lot of shit involved with that that's, that's being done from a, a cold-ass place, you know, that isn't really, you know, a good heart in that reality either. So, like, you know, you got to really take into consideration, like, what am I making different from that? And what am I feeling differently from that? Than just always thinking that women are going to always be like that. Because, bro, you just, you never know at the end of the day. Like, real shit.
And shoot, y'all, just to point y'all to my last aspect on this thing, you know, as we kind of shuffle out into the thing. Like, I just want y'all to know, man, like, when we really, you know, just process this type of stuff and when we really just, you know, look into it from a real place, I'm going to be even honest with you about this, too. I think main reason we have led ourselves to believe that women are only supposed to be doing this type of shit because if we being honest and transparent motherfuckers have problems with thinking that technically speaking um women can't do certain shit and because they can't do certain shit like you know when they return back into the field of certain shit a lot of these women can't return back into it because it's like they've almost wired a lot of these women to believe that if they choose that type of uh construction of of what they've done with you know corn or all this other different shit they're not able to be involved with something deeper than that you feel me you know so so society does give women this oh you you fucked simply because you didn't base it basically you on death row because you you chose the shit now you on death row you feel me so i mean i i I get why that's literally why some of these women are continuously putting themselves into that sort of spectrum of of context but that's one thing also too is that i feel like as well that some of us as men do understand and realize that women you know from a real place we don't we don't always have to think of women from the context of the you know the content that they are creating that way because at the end of the day you know if we being realistic about it you know that's not all that defines women you know and i think a lot of these motherfuckers forget to forget to believe that about women forget to say that and forget to keep that in their minds while they out here just thinking that this is the only way that we have to <laughs> to see women through. And I just feel like, hey, y'all, you know, if we're going to keep it real, you know, I, I'm not even saying this from a place of negativity to try to imply like, oh, I'm a negative person because I came from the church world and I have something against women who choose to do that shit. No, I don't, that's not what, what my mind even feels when it comes to women who do that shit because I, I understand. A lot of it is because they don't get paid a certain amount of money to do certain shit that could be more beneficial that didn't have to be nothing like that. You feel me? There's just motherfuckers who believe that, oh, we need to pay women only that way to do that particular thing and, you know, they'll get paid a lot more, which is still just a weird angle to have in society in general, which is why, you know, I just feel like at the end of the day, you know, um, that's just why some people, you know, when we really look into it, you know, that's why some of us just don't feel the need to tap in with that type of shit because don't nobody want to just die like that. You feel me? And I feel, and if when I say this too, I feel like I don't think women want to do that either to themselves. You know, sometimes when you when you uh, when you haven't been taught a reality to know certain shit about shit, sometimes you learn a context like, well, shit, dude, you know, you learn a M, you know, you get an epiphany in yourself. Ooh, shit, it's fucking thunderstorm. But yeah, you get an epiphany in yourself. You like, damn, I don't want to do that for the rest of my life. You know, make men believe that I am liking them when I really not liking them, you know, making men believe that, you know, I, I, I can't be true to what I really want to express with them, you know, and, and shit like, I mean, I mean, a lot of that just, it can bring some epiphany to ourselves as people, you feel me? And so I just think a lot of y'all, you know, whether we know it or not, or whether we see it or not, like, we have to keep that type of stuff into consideration and try to, you know, look at it at least like, well, shit, you know, like, that's not all women are, man. You know, that's not all women are. You know, I think I say this, too, from a place of just knowing that, like, y'all, I just have became a man and know that I am a man who just would never think to himself that, 
um, women are only designed to be that particular way. Um, you know, and that's just how I've always been able to wire it. You know, I never once saw certain shit and put certain shit into my head to believe that, oh, this is the only way that they are. Like, nah, bro, a lot of this is some women are like that and choose to be that way for a lot of other crazy reasons. But at the same time, a lot of us men need to learn to, to, to address this from, from a place of a more healthy aspect. So that women can express this type of shit from a place that isn't always from this unhealthy concept. Because truth be told, that's just making a woman believe that her context in life is only unhealthy and there is no healthy context to herself. There is no healthy context that she can get to. A lot of that is like keeping her kind of chained up in one reality. When there's a whole nother revolution right behind her that could teach her something the opposite of that, you know? And I just feel like if you a man who, even a real ass man to this shit, you, you should really take into consideration that that's why, you know, you should embark on better ways to put women into places that aren't just this context of trying to only want them for those particular constructs. Because if we boil looks down and if we boil all this other shit down to what people are, people are just humans, bro. You know? That's why it's weird that motherfuckers will tell me sometimes, <laughs> am I afraid to talk to fine-ass women? That question would be, hell no, I'm not afraid to talk to fine-ass women because they are people at the end of the day. They're people. People are people are people. You feel me? We can't just act like there's certain shit that they are. They're still people. And I guess, shoot, y'all, that's just what, what comes to my mind as far as the topic of concern is going to with uh, pornography escape. Um, that's just what comes to my mind. That's what I can tell you all about the situation. Because I don't want to linger too much about it. But, um, yeah, that's what uh, comes to my mind. So what's good with y'all, man? Thank y'all for tuning in to the YMDR podcast, man. You already know what it is. We bring in the topics that make sense to the culture of the situation. We try to bring some real-ass concepts up in here. Let me know. In the comments, what you think of this particular topic in general. I know I'm in the dark, but side note, it's, you know, it is what it is. But, I, but yeah, yeah, y'all, ultimately, let me know in the comments what you think of this topic. We can talk about more things about this topic in general if you want that. You feel me? It's all, y'all, I am all welcome to hear what it is that we want to be heard about the situation. Y'all, y'all can like, follow, share the podcast, man. And just tell people about the aspect of the situation. You feel me? Be a part of YMDR Nation. You feel me? We out here. You feel me? So much love to y'all. Thank y'all for tapping in. If y'all have any questions or concerns, y'all can hit me up. Until next time, stay impacted, never controlled. Sync. And Brody, we out.